This video, we cover the 6mm BR custom build with a hunt report. It's David with Varminer Magazine. Well, we took a break today from hunting and we wanted to come out and go over the 6BR build. So I'm just going to start from the bottom of the rifle, work my way up, talk about features, components. So this is based on, start with our uh, Graybo Ridgeback stock. Um, this has become my go-to stock for all of my builds. I absolutely love it. It fits me perfect. I like the adjustable comb. You have a little bit of adjustment on length of pole. You have built-in flush cups. You have uh, uh, integrated bubble level, M-lock rails on the sides and the bottom. Now we have this in a saddle here and you can see that the flat bottom really works well. If you wanted to mar uh, mount an Arca Swiss plate, again, you've got that nice flat bottom for a lot of contact surface. On the bottom, let me pop this out, you can see that we have the uh, gray bow bottom metal. I really like the magazine release latch. Um, it, everything about this just works really, really well for my style of shooting. The graphics that are on this were put on by Applied Hydrographics, and they did a phenomenal job on this camo pattern. They also do work outside of just their gray bow, so if you have anything individual that you would like hydro dipped, please give Steve a call over there. Uh, they'd be more than happy to take care of you. And I do need to mention that although Applied Hydrographics did the great work on putting the camo on the stock, Nevada Cerakote actually did the action barrel and they matched the optic to go along with the camo as well. They did a fantastic job. My Instead of a mag, I am running MK Machining feed uh, single feed ramp. Um, I'll talk a little bit about why in a little bit, but again, it works perfect. We have a Bix and Andy trigger. We have the heart of this rifle is a Borden Alpine Magnum action. We of course run Krieger barrels whenever we have an opportunity to. They are phenomenal and they're my personal choice for barrels on my builds. This is an M24 contour and it is a total finish length of 26 inches. Coming up you see the rail here is actually done by uh, Borden as well. And this is a pinned rail onto the action. We have our Thunder Beast uh, Ultra 9 suppressor. Works extremely well and it's very quiet with the 6BR build. Rings are Seeker Precision. And finally on top, our optic is the Vortex uh, 3 to 15 Razor HD LHT. This is a phenomenal scope. Just everything about this is the way I wanted it. Now, I designed this to shoot varmint loads. I wanted this to shoot 55 to set roughly 70 grain bullets. And I put a 1 in 10 twist in here for... I didn't want to overspin the lighter bullets. Um, I really enjoy and have had very good success with the 55 grain Nosslers. Uh, these are traveling about 36.65. Uh, and that's over N120. So I am shooting uh, Lapua Brass. Can't get any better than that. I mean, there's some other companies out there that may be on par, but really I don't feel you can do much better. So uh, the only issue that I had with this build, and is definitely not accuracy, it was feeding. And, uh, you know, those who try to shoot 6BRs and short length actions, you know there's a couple companies out there and their magazines are modified for inserts to move the cartridge a little bit forward in the magazine. That's perfect. The issue is, and this is just because I had this action available, this action, the Alpine Magnum, is actually about a medium length action. So it's longer than a standard short action mag or short action. So as the round was coming up, and as soon as it cleared the feed ramps in the magazine itself, it wasn't quite into the chamber, would pop out, and I just had trouble feeding. 
When I went to the MK machining feed ramp, it eliminated all of those issues. Um, we have absolutely some hunting footage with this. We're going to get over to that. Uh, some long range rock chucks. And if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Uh, shoot us an email, whatever you like. We will have the full article and all the details about the build uh, over at varmeter.com where you can always find more information, articles, and videos. So stick around and check it out. Thanks. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. So before we headed out, we went out to the range, uh, did some sighting in, and also checked the speed for the uh, 55 grain nozzle rounds that David was going to be using hunting. And we went ahead and ran those through the chronograph, the magneto speed, and put it together so we had our full ballistics. So when we headed out, we could basically go and uh, do what we had to do without any issues. So coming up here is a hunt. I left a lot of commentary so that way you guys can kind of see how the hunt goes. And it's going to be more rock chucks all the way through. So check it out and I'll jump in a little bit later. Six BR. What bullet? Hundred and oh, I'm sorry, fifty-five grain nosler. Fifty-five grain nosler. How far is that? One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Got him. Go. Yep, he's dead. Six BR hit. Yes. I am recording. He's still sitting there. Did that spine him? No, oh, you missed. I think you nicked him. Huh? Yep, look at the tail. Oh, yep. I knew it, oh, yep. I thought I you headshot him. What's the range on that? 6BR. One ninety. One ninety. Recording off. Alright. Six PR. What did we say that was? One ninety three. He just heard me, he's looking. Here he comes. Good shot. Blew him up. Nice Six shot. BR, fifty-five grain nosser. Which I'm gonna smack him again. So that rock he can hit. Six BR stood him up. He's still standing up. He's like, what happened? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. See his tail? Oh, yep. He's kicking. <laughs> Six BR cash, hundred and ninety. Three. Three. Shot cash six br. Oh, you're wrong one. Reload. Like running down. Hang on. Let's go. See him standing. Shot. 6BR. So it seemed like everywhere we were hunting on this trip uh, was very windy. So this is a long one, but an interesting one. I want you to see when we have a miss and basically what goes into tracking it Good and shot, trying to make the shot once the these uh, rock line, chucks line, start getting so. away. Most people think rock chucks just sit and um, wait for you to shoot them, but a lot of them will be on the move all the time. So check this out and I'll jump in at the end. Go. I got him. Going up higher. Hold on. Up in the left. 
I'm getting 154. Hold on, hold on, I got to adjust. Okay, go. High and to the right, way high and to the right. See him running? Yep. He's still running, he's way up there. Right. Yep. He's on that granite. Good shot. And that was a great shot that David made. So here's after pictures of that particular hunt. Um, head on over to varmer.com. We have a full article on this. We're also including rifle build pages. So if you want information on each of the rifle builds we have, all the parts we used, everything, go check them out over there. If you haven't already subscribed or hit the bell to be notified, please do. And here's our social stuff as well. We'll see you over on varmer.com.